Hello YouTube, it's Akrod again, back with another live stream from the home studio. Every other week we're doing some live beat making. And that's what we're here for, some live beat making. I'm gonna work on this one today, the MPC Key 37. Oh, that looks bad, right? The folding right there. I'm big, but I'm, I'm not that big. Still looks crazy, whatever. So we have the SD card in here and you know, I normally don't pre prepare much, but I did find a sample and I did some time stretching and stuff on it just because I heard that it was way too fast. And then I have it on my SD card. I tried to, to do this thing where I kind of cycle through my different sample folders. There's a part of me that feels like, yeah, I keep repeating myself and I keep using the same drum sounds and stuff like that. So I'm preparing to make this sample pack, another free one that you can download and whatever. And uh, just to test them out, I have some of the kicks and snares and stuff on the SD card here. Okay, so some basic drum sounds are now loaded up on my first track. That's more like it. The audio quality is not the best um, for this one. But who cares about the audio quality? We chop it up and make it cool. I don't know if I want to go through this entire thing manually and select every single chop point. Normally I try to like add a few rough chop points and then work from there. But in this case, the sample has so many great parts. And I think it would be faster for me to just use these pre-made slices. It went into region and I just added 32 different chop points. And from here, start editing them more. Just this intro could be an entire thing. So I'm basically just looking for different parts that sounds cool without any type of context. So let's move into global and try to pitch it up. Maybe we want that separate like dun 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 on different paths, I don't know becomes more disco than what it was from the beginning. Working with a sample that's this busy and this full of stuff is always a bit tricky. Maybe I should have done all the, the entire thing manually. Oh, that, that's a nice chord. Okay. <laughs> I think we're onto something with those those chops. Okay, I think we're we're onto something, but we're we're moving a bit too quickly here. Um we do need to check out more of the sample. I still have Okay, I think we're building a loop here. I think that would be too repetitive. And the pattern. The pattern goes like this. Better, but not good. Now we have more of a swing type of thing. Maybe that works better. I don't know, let's not think too much about this. Let's start adding more things. Mm -hmm. 
to me, that works. But before we think about that, maybe bass. Amazingly enough, that almost worked. So I think we can find something cool here. Everything sounds better from the synth. Maybe it's because it's a good synth. Maybe it's just because it's louder. I don't know anymore. Oh! I'm not playing the right notes, but an organ is actually kind of a good idea. We are in uh, D sharp minor, and I'm trying to add some spicy notes in there. I think we got it. One note came in totally wrong, but that's fixable. <laughs> that's not, that's no good. 10 minutes before we went live today, uh, Teenage Engineering announced their new thing and I almost ordered it instead of fixing the cable. So now I have to deal with the, with the battery. It is what it is. It's just me being a dumbass. And it's okay to be a dumbass when you make fire beats like this. Yeah, sorry I said so. Um, and let's move into this track. No, I don't think it's scratch time. I just wanted to try some stuff out. Normally I would want to try to make a, a secondary pattern. Since the sample has so much stuff going for it, uh, it might be hard to find a pattern. Now that I think about it, since we have so many things that could work as an ending for the loop, let's just remake the majority of the loop, but just make a variation at the end. <clears throat> That's better than nothing. Building like a baseline within the sample to cut it off like that. Yeah, that's better. Let's add another track, and I'm going to bed. I just gotta say, I'm going to bed. Or do we wanna, like, lean into the whole organ thing? What happened with the organ? But, you know, I could always record the MIDI and then move into... Sorry. Then move into all this craziness. Not that I understand how an organ works, whatsoever. I think that's good. I'm not sure that um, the melody should be an organ. I think Sarah's onto something. But let's just fiddle around with some, some scratch samples real quick. So 
So, a bit of a struggle with the sample making everything fit, but that's just what it is sometimes. I think the end result here came out decent, or even good. I like this track a lot, and I'm gonna keep working on it and finish it someday, and you know, it is what it is. So this is one of the concepts for this channel in the future, to do live beat making sessions like this every other week. Just spending some time in the studio working on some music with different pieces of gear. It's gonna be a lot of NPCs and a lot of samples and also some synths and drum machines. You know, all that type of jazz. So this is an edited video of that. The entire full live stream is available on the channel as well. Just click the live streams and it's right there. So that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one too. Until then, hot gut. Accurate beats. Accurate beats. Accurate beats.